Alyssa, did you see the horribly top tree on the way to the park today? No, I didn't. And that's surprising because that's a pet peeve of mine. People don't realize how harmful that is for trees. And yet it's a very common pruning practice out there. What's unfortunate is people get afraid of their trees becoming too big and that's why they ask for them to be topped. Yeah, and truth is that ironically, a topping makes the trees even more dangerous and that's only one reason not to do it. That's a really good point. Topping often removes 50 to 100% of the foliage of a tree. Because leaves are the food factories of a tree, removing them can temporarily starve a tree. This triggers a sort of survival mechanism, causing the rapid growth of multiple shoots below each cut. If a tree does not have the stored energy reserves to do so, it will be seriously weakened and may die. And stressed trees are more vulnerable to insect and disease infestations. The preferred location to make a pruning cut is just beyond the branch collar at the branch's point of attachment. Cuts made along a limb between side branches create stubs with wounds that the tree may not be able to close. The exposed wood tissues begin to decay. The new shoots that develop after topping grow quickly, as much as 20 feet in one year in some species. Unfortunately, the shoots are weakly attached and prone to breaking, especially during windy conditions. Topping destroys the natural form of a tree. Without leaves, a top tree appears disfigured and mutilated. If the tree survives, it will require pruning again within a few years. It will either need to be reduced again or storm damage will have to be cleaned up. If the tree dies, it will have to be removed. I always like to tell my clients that when pruning large trees, that can be really dangerous. So it's really important that when anytime working above ground or using power equipment aloft, to call a professional arborist. Yeah, that's true, because a professional arborist can bring in a trained crew and they'll have all the required equipment and the necessary liability insurance. Absolutely, and it's good to check for an ISA arborist certification, because ISA certified arborists pass an exam through all aspects of tree care. Yeah, and avoid any tree care company that advertises topping as one of their services provided. <laughs> Absolutely.